Hey there, what's going on? It's Chrissy Williford here. I'm going to do a test retest demonstration for you, a demo, so that you can see a little bit more about one of the methods that I use to make sure that the things that we're doing for your body, the exercise selection that we're making, the mobility selection that we're making, all of the things, the choices and decisions that we're making are really what your body likes because your body likes and dislikes things and it will communicate that to you um, but you have to know how to interpret that. Okay. And so it's really very simple, but I thought I would do a demonstration and just, um, let you see really what it looks like. And so I'm going to use myself. And, um, so what we're going to do is a, um, a range of motion test. Range of motion is how far a joint will go in a certain range. Okay. So from this side, this is my shoulder range of motion here. Um, it's a little bit crunchy on that side, shoulder range here a little bit tighter on that side. Okay. Toe touch is also one. And so I'm a little stiff. Um, I had a long day yesterday and, um, anyway, my body feels a little jammed up. So I thought it'd be a good time to do this for you. Um, the one that I like a lot is body rotation. And so if you stand feet under hips, um, arms out in front, and then just rotate as far as you can go, I'm a little bit tight that way, but I'm really tight this way. I checked before I did this and I knew that already. So if I go from the side, okay, let me square myself and then I'm going to go here. And so I go about to there and then the other way. So I feel a little bit tight. All right. So what I'm going to do is, um, a couple of mobility things. I haven't checked this before, so it's totally, um, just as is, you're just going to see it in real time. Um, but I'm going to do some neck mobility first because that'll be easy for you to see. And then I'm just going to go through a few exercises and see how I respond. Okay. What I'm looking for is um, a result of which is same, better, or worse. And that is the question that we pose um, because the things that feel better, that make you feel better, those are the ones that we kind of want to live in, the ones that make you worse. So we want to work on those to improve them. But it's not the things that you want to do if you're getting ready to perform or do your daily activity or feel better or get out of pain or those kinds of things. The ones that make you better are those exercises and activities to do. So um, I'm going to do neck mobility. That'll be easy for you to see. Okay. And I'm just going to push forward in my head and back. Oh, it feels tight. Okay. So I'm going to do like three to five. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, it's tight. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to retest. So I'm going to go toe touch first. Okay. That's better. So I don't know if you could tell it was a little bit faster when I dropped down into it, it was faster. I also had more range. You can't really see my hands, but I did have more range. All right. So then we go, uh, body rotation better. Can you tell that better? So when I did it before I was about here and then now I'm, I'm at least an inch or more better this side over here, you may be able to, Oh, that's way better. Okay. So I went, about here when I started and then now my range is here. So can you see that shoulder range of motion is moving faster, smoother. The crunchiness is gone. Okay. So obviously was tight in my neck. So you can have bad result from some of the mobility, but what I've learned is that, um, with everything, your brain, your body will either like it or dislike it. Okay. That's exercises, that's mobility, that's foods. That is um, literally anything, okay? And if we are wanting to heal and recover ourselves, then we want to stay in the lane of the things that make us better most of the time. We need to work on the things that make us worse, especially if it's something that our body needs to do, like a joint moves in a certain range of motion. It's meant to do that. So we need to work on that to improve our body's response to it. But live in the things that make you better. So if you need to get out of pain quickly, if you feel stiff and tight after standing up out of a chair, if you've gone half the day and you begin to feel worse, then those are the times to use the better exercises to help you improve immediately, rapidly. That was really fast. 
So in literally like three to five reps on a little bit of neck mobility, my body feels better. Okay. This is true for all of the joints in your body. And it's why I do joint mobility the way that I do, because it works. It works quick. It works fast. Um, the results are believable because you're experiencing them in real time. It's not something like you have to do it now. And then you have to wait two days to see how your body's going to respond to it. It is immediate. Okay. Um, sometimes the same is true with exercises. So it is a very useful tool that you can actually use. Joint range of motion is very simple for anyone to do. It's literally just check a range of motion and see how your body feels and then do the activity and then retreat. It's very fast. It's very convenient and it requires no equipment and people can use it all the time with anything. So I hope that gives you a little bit more insight on how I use joint mobility to improve your range of motion and how you feel in your body to reduce and eliminate pain. Um, and then also so that we know what we're doing and the choices and decisions that we're making around your program is the best thing for you. So have a good day. I'll see you later.